Okay, Gemini, this is your sex scandals reading. Show me Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. What do we have here for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising people? Show me Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. Gemini, okay. You have a... Five of Wands, and you had a Hermit. Your Five of Wands. Somebody could be... Some of you could be dealing with a, a Virgo, and then you had a Five of Wands that could be Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Somebody's very protective over you. An air sign? Or because you are the Gemini females, it would be your counterpart. It, it could be an air sign. It could just be somebody that looks at themselves as the match for you. They could be very protective of you. They have a, a energetic connection with you. They have a telepathic connection. They have an emotional connection. And they're very protective of your energy. They're very protective of you as a person. Because we have two men here, I, I feel that This, this hermit could be somebody else, but they could be under the energy of this one. And, and it would be where the hermit could be missing you. The hermit could be feeling lonely. The hermit could be feeling, most definitely feeling the, the absence of your presence. The hermit wants a relationship that they can call their own. Either they had that with you and you two are in some type of separation. And either they had that type of relationship with you and you two are in separation. Or they could have had it with you and you two are in separation. And if they're also this energy, it would be, they would be wondering if you moved on wondering if you're with someone else they could this sort represents communication they could want to communicate with you the five was is competition but they will want to know if they have competition or, or they will be wanting to know who you're with or if you have someone else Okay, but then I feel, and that would be a different situation. Then I feel that those of you, Jim and I, where you've been on a long-term relationship with someone, and you trust this person, this person trusts you, you love them, they love you, and there's a set, there's an ending. You two end the relationship. This person is protective of your energy. That's different. They would never do anything to harm you. They would never say anything to harm you. They would never do anything like that. Okay. Now, but they could be, and they could know that you're dating or you're starting a date or you're going to start a brand new relationship and they just want the best for you. So they're protective of your energy. Whether you two are going to be a, together or not, it's not about that. It's like, they're just protective of you like that. They don't want any harm to come to you. They don't want anything like that. Okay. Because that's when they're going to step in energetically. Or in a real world sense. Others of you, you have a hermit that misses you. Maybe have lost the opportunity with you. They're spying because they, they don't want to talk. They don't want to communicate. They don't want to tell the truth. They don't want to speak their feelings. Because they were wondering if you're with somebody else. Because they may have messed the relationship up like that so it's not about them wanting the best for you or 
overprotective of you is they could, could kind of feel that you may have gone on and that now they have competitors that they didn't have before when you were wrapped up in them and they're just by themselves like that. That's what you all have here, Gemini. Show me Gemini. So I'm seeing two groups of you here. Or one group of you, and it could be just that's what it is here. Well, that's what the representation of the men are here. One is protective of your energy, and if you married the person of your dreams, as long as that person was the person of your dreams and loved you, that one would be happy for you. Like that, okay. Then one is out of your life due to their own whatever, and they want to talk, they want to speak the truth, but they're not doing it because they they could be scared because they know now that you have comp they have competition, or they they're just like that. They know now they will have to compete for you when before Gemini, I feel that you were completely open to this person. More so than you were open to anyone else. I feel that you may have excluded a lot of people from your life. New opportunity, or old opportunity, you were primarily focused on this person. But something happened. And now they have competitors that they didn't have before. Okay, show me the Hermit for Gemini Sun Moon Rising. Show me the hermit for Gemini. The royal card. See a cycle close between you and this person. This could be a long this relationship with the royal card. And this just shows that they're watching you over the internet. Gemini, this person, they could have, when you were just open, exclusively open to them, and you only wanted them, and you were only interested in them, they may have went and started something and it ended. It didn't work out. They start, may have started something with someone else and it ended and it didn't work out. And now they're missing you and they're wondering what you're doing, wondering who you were with. Now they have to compete for you. When I feel initially you were waiting for them and open to just them. And you were taking them seriously. Show me the hermit. There, there's distance between you and this hermit. Geographical distance could be the world card. Or there's just emotional di or just distance not together. Ten of cups. They want a happy um, situation. Some of them have Pisces in their chart, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus is here. Six of Swords is about reconciliation. This person could want to reconcile with you. I feel that, um, Gemini, you mentally move past this. This is about you mentally move past whatever happened back here. You had a three of wands. You're waiting for more than that situation had to offer, or you're open to now more than that situation had to offer, and that's what you're attracting. You're attracting more than a situation had to offer you. The eight of cups, yeah. You, you had to walk away from something. And it took you a long time to walk away from this person. I feel that when you were investing in these cups, this person was investing somewhere else. And it took you a long time to get that or understand that or realize that and walk away. I feel that you didn't even walk away. This person pushed you away by their behavior and their, their actions towards you. And now you accepted that. And it took you a long time to get there. You mentally moved past what kept you stuck there. Now you're open. The three of wands is open to what you were giving. You're open to your ships coming in romantically. And you're not just focused on one person the way that you were before. You have a king of cups, Pisces here twice. 
what three times with the ten of cups, eight of cups, and the king of cups here with the neck is on with the fish. Somebody could be in their feelings about you, Gemini. This person could be of any sign of some masculine energy, but it shows that they're in their feelings about you. You you were left with no choice but to walk away from them and to get over this situation and bring yourself closure. The world card is closure. Gemini. Four of Wands. You're going to get what you want romantically. Now you're open to it. You got the Three of Wands. Open to what you wanted. Open to what you were investing for. Open to what you were around this person for. Open to what you wanted when you first started being open. That 11-11, that Four of Wands, marriage, happiness, all of that. And that's what's coming towards you. Because you, you mentally let something go. You, you move past something. You're not just stuck on one person in one place and giving the cups, you're now open to receiving your, your happily ever after, and that's what you're going to get. Okay, Jim, and I'm going to continue to lay the rest of your cards and see what else comes up. The link is in the description box below this video per usual. Bye.